You know, all this week, African-American business owners and aspiring entrepreneurs are gathering in Atlanta for the Black Enterprise Entrepreneurs Conference. And one of the main goals here of the conference is to help black business owners survive during tough economic times. And one business that's managed to survive the economic slump, as well as the decline in retail sales, is Shane and Sean Ward. Joining us today is Shane and Sean Ward, co-founders of their namesake company. Uh, welcome to both of you guys. Thanks a lot for having us. And let's start by talking about your company. Shane, what do you guys do? Well, uh, we have a company called Shane and Sean. We do men's and women's fashion shoes, but with a very unique comfort twist. Um, our background is athletic shoes, and living in New York, we noticed a lot of women who would walk around the streets in a beautiful outfit, whether they're going to work or they're going out at night, and they would have gym shoes on, and they would have their dress shoes in their purse or their bag, and we felt, because we came from the athletic industry, that we can actually bridge that gap and do fashion shoes that feel like athletic shoes. So Comfort is king is what you're saying. Comfort is king. All right, so Shane and Sean are identical twins. Yep. Just folks can probably tell by looking at them right now. Good thing you wore glasses. I appreciate <laughs> that, Sean. Uh, what has been the key to your ability to survive this downturn? I think it's been uh, being nimble and being able to adjust to the times. Everything was blue skies back in 2008, and then bam, right away the recession hit in October. And we really came, you know, head first with some realities that, um, we really needed to, you know, become a lot more leaner. And Shane and I, we actually closed our retail shop because it was really high in overhead and said, you know, where are opportunities that we can still grow our business, but it was low overhead. And we really saw an opportunity online. And we probably should have been doing a lot more online business focus, but um, the recession actually was almost a blessing for us because we came out of the recession smarter, leaner, and stronger. Now our sales are up 600% online from last year because now, we're able to 600 percent, six x year over year. Yes. that is not bad. Uh, so uh, your shoes, comfort is king here for women. There's a lot of women out there. We'll say thank you so much, Shane and Sean. We appreciate that. Well, you said that cutting cost was, I guess, your key move earlier on. What is your key now going forward? Do you see that the recession is still going to be a, a little bit more uh, long term, or do you think you see the end of it from your perspective? Well, um, we're starting to get a lot more positive feedback now, like Sean mentioned, online sales, but. To stay lean, what we've decided to do is change our business model so that we focus on what we're strong at, which is design and marketing. And the things that we weren't strong at, which was operations, shipping, and logistics, we're going to outsource that. So that has kept our overhead down, and we're going to give a percentage of our business to those companies that partner with us to do those type of things. Okay, so we were talking before we went on air. You're, you're definitely here for the Black Enterprise Entrepreneurs Conference. Mm -hmm. You had a couple of speeches, you're on a couple of panels, and you're saying, your job here is to motivate people and give them some key sort of ideas to move forward. Give us one or two of those if you could. Yeah, I'll give a couple. Um, the first thing I think people should do is what we did is focus on online because it's a very low cost way of doing business and you're going directly to the customer who cannot not only buy your product but give you feedback on how to become better. Secondly, I think we need to approach our suppliers and get better terms. A lot of small businesses have trouble with financing. And instead mm -hmm. of just looking for investors, go back to your suppliers who actually need the business now because of the recession. Renegotiate is what you're saying. Renegotiate your terms. Instead of, you know, for example, paying in 30 days, you can pay in 90 days. The, the suppliers need the business, and it helps your cash flow situation. So I would definitely um, tell the small businesses to reach out to their suppliers and get better terms. Shane? I would say um, the biggest thing they can do right now is listen to their mentors. Um, listen to... The men and women. Reach out to your network that you've got. Absolutely. Right. Because um, being an entrepreneur right now, especially going through the recession, you can get into tunnel vision and your day-to-day -day grind of like fighting all the fires. But if you can reach out to your network, your mentors, mm -hmm. and open that book and let them know exactly what's going on with your company, they can give you that feedback that you need to make it through. You're saying overly defending. Instead, think forward. Be a pioneer about some of the thoughts and the ideas you've got for your business. That's Absolutely. right. And, and, and just... And one thing Shane and I aren't going to do is go back to the old ways just because things are getting better. Okay, let's hire a lot more people. Right. Let's get a, a big office space. We're going to stay lean going forward. And I think that a lot of business owners need to think the same way. Shane and Sean, thank you both very much. I know you're a Michigan grad, so hopefully you can apply some of your concepts to our college uh, football, football team, team blue. going forward. Yeah, we hope they'll do better That's this year, right. don't we? Thank you both. Thanks for having us. Winnie Mandela, the movie about her life has...